Good the evening, Celtic Canada, and welcome Canada. to Independence Park Number and the National one, Stadium here in Sheridan. Kingston, Jamaica, Number as we enter this pivotal two-match series to qualify for CONCACAF's final spot in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Against the Jamaican team that performed incredibly well in the World Cup, and Lauren Donaldson has made a few changes to his starting 11 today. Three of them, in fact, bring in Atlanta Primus and Chaina Matthews into the midfield. Four changes. Jade Rhodes comes in. We expect them in a back three. She will line up beside Vanessa Gilles and Kadisha Buchanan. It is a first professional Canadian start for Sydney Collins. Tanya Plummer, short ball work back up for Shaw. Race for it, and coming away is Primus. Lays it off well. Cut back to the middle. Going to go inside on Rose. Another touch. The patience is there. The shot is blocked a little bit too long before firing from Jody Brown. Flicked on by Leon. Perfectly waited for Lawrence. Lawrence, she is waiting to breeze by. She's done so. That's a fantastic ball, and it's finished off by Michelle Prince. The moment Canada was waiting for, and it's the wing back, Ashley Lawrence. Prince both pressuring the center backs. It's costly up the middle. Quinn intercepts. Leon back for Lacasse. The speed to reach the ball goes low, actually hits the post. Rose wanted to go back to Gilles. Didn't get the pace on it to find its target. Now Jamaica deflected ball. Vanessa Gilles diving, preventing. Lawrence. Leon. Very much kept herself on side as two teammates breaking through. Again, wanted Prince. That would have been a tough header at the near post. seconds from the whistle to begin this half, Eva Hovaris, and they're already back on the front foot. Yeah, that's great. I just, I don't know what happened there. Um... Fleming's ball from the corner flag, back heeled in from Quinn. Leon, this time she does hit the post. Rattles the crossbar. Jamaica still have it cleared. Lacasse into a dangerous spot. Sits for Lawrence, and a whistle comes to bring play to a halt. Thumbs up from Drew Spence. Ashley Lawrence is absolutely beside herself with that. Reminder that Matt Cullen does have the call in French this evening for those watching on One Soccer Dots here. The One Soccer app is audio track number two. Where is Collins? An important touch around. Opens up Collins, tries to bend that towards the top right corner. to get that pass off in time, and they did. Prince trying to keep herself on side. Leon drifting towards the right, has Lawrence on the overlap. She shoots. Tests the keeper, but it ends up being a fairly simple challenge for Rebecca Spencer. Quinn gets stuck in, and somehow they've come away with the ball. Top three by Prince. Now Leon, Adriana Leon, kick save by Spencer. On the rebound, she sends it wide. Broken play and a half chance, and Leon went to work. That is her second huge scoring moment, just 15 minutes into the second half. The African qualifiers, we see two clubs come through. Won't happen until April, very close to the tournament. Prince to the middle, unlocking Leon, all by her lonesome. Adriana Leon, does she have her goal? She has to go short side. Hands on it from Rebecca Spencer. It's a Canadian corner. Corner taken short. Lacasse returns it to Leon. Gilles had a chance. Shaw's on it first. Lawrence for Fleming. Jesse Fleming. She raised out a foot or two more. It's probably 2-0 for the Canadians. Her first shot attempt of the match. 
22 years of age, count number 68 for Jordan tonight. Here is Shaw. Khadija Shaw. Gio goes down. The loose ball pops up. There'll be a cat in a sliding tackle. That was nearly earmarked for the corner. Whether that's right back, whether that's center back, to be determined. First thing for Zdorsky and Grosso to do is try to defend a corner. Right up towards the penalty spot. Shaw does get onto it. It's the first save of the match from Galen Sheridan. This match is still technically governed by the rules and regulations of the W Championship, so three windows, five substitutions. One of those substitutions was Grosso. Her pass for Carl, trying to set up Leon in front. That is a massive goal for the Canadians. Two minutes through stoppage time, and the Canadian Centurion has scored once again for the Maple Leaf. Her 30th for country is going to make Tuesday night in BMO a lot less pressure packed. Well, uncomfortable to save. This is just about it. We have to catch a Korolema, so I'll take this moment to get your final thoughts on the performance here. Because it's full time, and Canada have won by two goals. Really tonight. happy for Canada. They bounced back. Two great goals with many more. Could have been more for sure. Some really great individual performances.